Small businesses all over the country rely on FedEx Express and UPS to move important shipments. But back in 1997, UPS was brought to its knees by a Teamsters Union strike that paralyzed American businesses from coast to coast. What crippled UPS back then could cripple FedEx today, and UPS is lobbying Congress to expose FedEx Express and FedEx customers to the same sort of crippling work stoppages. UPS is trying to get Congress to change the law to increase the threat of labor strikes at FedEx Express and grant UPS a bailout from competition. You see, 85% of UPS packages move by truck, while 85% of FedEx Express packages fly in FedEx planes. UPS wants to put trucking rules on FedEx jets, and that doesn't make any sense when prices are down and competition is up. What happens if UPS gets its bailout? UPS and the Teamsters can work together to shut down FedEx Express, so all businesses all over the country lose their ability to move shipments that are critical to their survival. During these tough economic times, we can't let that happen. Say no to bailout and yes to competition and air safety.